So today we'll discuss um, one question which is uh, I found different because um, mainly when you get a reasoning question in circular arrangement either um, the person are facing front and the only question is based on the arrangement so either they are facing front or they are facing outside or maybe in out so this is one of the question like in the type they can do this the other type is they can give you um, one more feature like also the puzzle and then one more variable so this is the discussion for today question and we will see how to solve that question quickly so this is the question in front of your screen spend some time and try to solve this I have got this question from one famous magazine called BSC so you spend some time and try to so you know the basic rule is first um, see what is going on like see if I have to read I'll see PQRS T U V W are sitting around circular table and now you know they are facing the center so this is a good part that all of them are say facing the center but not necessarily in the same order obviously they cannot give you the order the husband of V is second to the right of Q who sit between two males T sit second to the left of daughter S so after reading these things I can figure it out that there is some family tree also is going on with the circular arrangement question and guess there is no restriction that they should only ask you based on arrangement they can give you anything so this is one of the famous question like they give you one family tree so how to solve these questions let's see that and the questions are very definite so try to solve this so first the obvious thing to do is we need this circle right at least arrangement is required first step without reading anything we know all of them are facing the center I'll just indicate by two arrows or three so that we know that everyone is facing the center how many people are there P Q R S T U V W so it's a good habit to write because then you can eliminate it in a speed you won't do any mistake so what is the, now we'll start with the info the husband of V second to the right of Q so it means V is female so I'll denote that by square so there is someone V's husband that I know so it means that uh, V is a lady and she is married to someone and the info of the husband is given so we'll quickly write somewhere because that is not the main tree so circle again indicated by so let's put it on our uh, uh, this table what is given husband of V second to the right of Q Q is there then second to the right becomes this part this is circle so I'll write V is so just it will be an indication for me and it's the next thing is who so the Q right of Q who sits between two males so it means you know Q sits between two males this is given now another tree starts T sits second to the left of daughter of S so S is someone I don't know means like um, whether it's male or female but it has a daughter and obviously daughter will be female so square and for the indication part I will draw this and put this so T is there T sits second to the left so this second I'll write 2 this is all indication it's not see that that's based on your idea of how you want to implement now the next data is given T is sister of uh, U so again we'll write that somewhere T is sister of U so it's up to you how do you uh, indicate so till now we know V is there T is there these both the female we have got and U is like we don't know the sister is found U sister is T so we should do this so that we don't get confused because this is the husband 
and just put double line so that we know that the brother and sibling relationship is there that's why you don't mess up later right further it's given t is sister of u but is not immediate neighbor of v's husband it means obviously t is not anywhere near v it's not here we'll cut in the diagram so only one person sit with me p and t so we'll give this indication so that later we can use it because p is not on our screen and t is also not on on our screen just we'll keep this data to you know later use and keep it in front and so that you can use it anytime now again we got one more info p is father of u so just put it here only p is there male person father of u u i don't know but use u i know that is a sibling with t i'll put same way here only so it helps to connect the diagram so it's given s who is the brother of v so it means s is guy who is the brother of v somewhere it was v was there right yeah here so v brother and v was married to someone and some data is also there v's you know right of q so something i have connected now so it's written s uh, who is the brother of v sits on the immediate left of his mother so mom is there and sits on the immediate left one who is this s s who is a male which also indicates there is someone on top of s and that is a female it means s mom is there at least that's why the question is mentioned this also you will put it down that same info let's later it's written only one person sit with me v's mother and w so v's mom is same as s mom so we'll say mom or you can denote anything by x or y and just put so only one person sit between v's mother and w so this is same info like p and t so only one person sit between v and u this is also there now it's given um u is the mother of r u it means is a girl mother of r okay and not a immediate neighbor of w so it's not near w and now let's remove this also because there is one reference made how many people are missing from this uh, family tree if you must have noticed it's q and w only so now it means q will be here or w or q or w the mom right but the good thing is we can eliminate again this also and how you will eliminate this see this mom and w ke beech mein someone is it is surely means that w cannot be mom so we are satisfied so it means w is here q is here otherwise everything is filled right the, all the connections are filled yeah some gender here and there is not known but um, we can do that let's see how whatever data we can get and we'll try to fix that now the funny thing is then who is this person married with uh, b obviously everyone is on the screen now and they cannot give someone who is married so the only thing is left is this become p that's why they have some kids and stuff otherwise thing anyway on the screen you cannot put um, them as like married to whom and this and that because if you put it here they it's she is already a female both are female here also female the only guy left is p so this guy, these are only the tricks which you need to think like ki where can i put to satisfy my diagram there is no assumption going on here obviously your first thought can be why not this but again if you put it here you know that cannot be with v v is already female and this uh, i think yeah we still have that male and female relationship between marriage i know that um, you can marry female and female but let's not discuss that thing here so basically our family chart is done on we also know that um, if we crack the family chart all of the question can be solved now it's almost going to get solved it's not big deal now so let's see what we can do
first thing we can V's. So who is V's husband? P. That is there. Put P. A mom is female. Put female sign here. And mom and W there is one place. So here it cannot. Be. So only the place left is W for is this part, right? Now V and U. So this is gone. Let's cut it completely. And S is left of immediate left of the mom. This was also given. So S is a guy and correct. There is a guy in nearby Q. This also info is gone. V and P um, and then there is one gap with T. So this part they cannot take. So obviously this part T will take. And T is a female. So let's put in the square. Um, because there is one gap given, right? V and U. So V and U is left. And also this um, W is a female already. This, so let's put that. And from the left of two times, there is a T. So 1, 2, T. This is also satisfied. So let's cut this. And then V and U. So V and U both are females. So obviously they cannot come here because this part is for male so V or U I'll put like this V or U I'll put like this for now let's see if I can connect that later so only guy left is R because all of them are on the screen now it means it has to take this position and R becomes male now so the only info is this one that Q is not the neighbor of W so where is U so if you will yeah w is here so it means you cannot take this place so you can take this place so we saw that um, now only w and u cannot be the neighbor the place left one also got eliminated also we dis got the gender of this r because you know there is no other option to fulfill the gender so we saw we basically solved everything now here there is no data so now let's add the questions and try to solve them so first one is given which of the following statement is true with respect to the given seating arrangement so the i place the question here no female is the immediate neighbor of s which is wrong because w and q are the female people which are the neighbor v sit, uh, sits third to the left of her daughter so basically p and v are married and then v's daughter become u so v is third to the left of u u is this one facing here so left one two three so v no that is also wrong q is the mother of v again um, i'll come to the, this one also no because um, yeah i think this um, q is the mother because s and v are siblings so this was the right answer then we don't need to check the other ones okay we got the other one is who who among the following is the immediate left of R? Immediate left of R is Q. So it's um, so let's see the options. So it basically it's Q. So who is Q? See the third option T is maternal grandmother. So T, yeah, T is a sibling. His father is P, and you know, like the in the maternal side, mother uh, is the so Q is right, right? If you so see the relationship, T is maternal grandmother. This is the answer. So 83, 3. Because the answer was Q. So they will give you some, you know, the complicated terms. But if you have solved it, try to solve it. Till the end. So don't get confused that none of these is there. Because I cannot find Q. So already grandmother will be a good hint. So check that. So who among the following is daughter of S? W. That is... So W is the answer, right answer. So what is the position of P with respect to his grandson? Position of P with respect to his grandson. R is the grandson and what is the position of P with R? So I think it's a right of R, right? Immediate right. So 85 answer is 2. How many persons sit between B and his, between U and his uncle? U is this and his uncle. Uncle means P's um, brother. 
or take it from the mother's side so it will be s so u and s what is the thing going on how many percent between so u is here s is here so one two three one two three any side it's three so third is the right answer okay so now it's given four of the following five are alike in a certain way and hence form a group which of the one does not belong to that group so the answer is r why because the answer why is r because u t v w the u t v w they're in the order like consecutive sides so r is only not making the order so hence we have solved it i know i've got a little uh, messed up with the my diagram but you can do it neatly so that you don't mess up with your idea but the entire idea that everything should be available in front of your screen whatever notes you take so that you can connect everything now because we saw how this one end uh, led us to decide the gender in the end of r otherwise we should have said we cannot determine the gender if the question was like that so uh, i think you must have understood this video and if you have any doubt you can just ask me